So I don't know much, but I do know three things for sure. One is that onions have layers. Two is that ogres have layers. And three is that Starman videos have layers. Now, if you've been observant, you may have noticed that I've had this binder in the background of all of my videos through April. Now I've mentioned this before, I don't really care about the monetary value of my collection and I used to put prices up as I got pulls, but I don't anymore. So I thought it'd be cool to document all the pulls that we've got this month in one video. So to go through that, we'll have to start at the beginning of this month. But before we do that, I do have to share with you that I do have a goal to get 3000 subscribers by the time this channel hits three years, which is October 17th. Now I normally don't put dates on number goals, but I think that as a community, we can do that. I think it's very achievable. So do me a favor while you're here, hit that like button, subscription button, and share this with a friend. And let's get out some banger videos for the next four months. And now let's go back in time. Whoa! So I'm gonna grab one of these. I actually have, what do I have? I just picked up this one so that I could use it for Scarlet and Violet set. But I'm thinking that this Arceus Ultra Pro one is gonna be the one to go with. This one's like super professional and heavy duty. So this will get us through the month. And to start this binder off right, I had to get a nice single. After looking at all of the options, because there's so many generations here, it just made it so hard to make a choice. I don't know what I want now. Ooh, I see the one I want now. I ended up choosing a card that I've been wanting for a long time. It is the Pikachu from Cosmic Eclipse, which actually features the red trainer. And I got some other product that I was going to be using for future videos, but it was about time that I loaded up this binder for the very first time. And with that, we had our first single, a couple of packs, and a determination to get this month started. So let's get a price check. April 1st started with a live stream, which I have to start doing more often, but we did have a Fusion Strike Elite Trainer box to they open. They gave me two League packs. See if we can get something nice here. Another Sand. Full picks. Ooh, nice. A nice Full Art Sydney. That's a cool card. Definitely open for that uh, Gengar V Max. Caterpie, Morpeko, a Growlithe. Ooh! Oh, that's so sick! Oh, Quick Ball is really nice. And a Greedent V. So, not a bad opening overall. In this box, I have two of the newest Pokemon card products available today. Let's crack it open and see what it is. We have two new promos that I will give a closer look at, as well as two Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes for Scarlet and Violet. Exclusive promo, which is right here. So I can show you the Coridon future video. Uh, as of right now, I'm still looking for the gold Maridon. Uh, and oh, a Mabostiff. So that's a really awesome art rare. And I actually pulled this in the uh, TCG online. So that's really cool to get it uh, in person Dream soon. It's like really fun to play. It's pretty similar to one that I used to play. As we get a Pachirisu, which is really cool. And a full art professor's research. And a great Tusky X. And it comes Arlo. with two Maridon, just only one of them having the Pokemon Center sticker. So that's really cool. Or Miriam, which is like a super chase card in this set. Um, so... Really, any of those would be nice, but a nice Illustrator Rare Palmot, which is like super cool. The art on this is awesome. A Bayonet EX, we have not pulled that one yet. I switched my cameras around, the autofocus still doesn't really want to work, but this is really cool. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. So this week, we're doing a collaboration video with our good friend, Starman DX. I'm building an Ultra Ball, a Zangoose, and a full art professor's research to start, which is crazy. A Youngster, and a Great Tusk EX is uh, pretty solid. Hopefully we can get one in this one. A Potion, a Mezagoza, Heracross, a Defiance Band, a Rocky Helmet, a, and a Jacques Illustrator Rare. Oh my goodness, I haven't pulled this one yet. That's crazy. And on, so hopefully we get the other one. A, and a Starly. Oh my goodness, this Illustrator Rare is so nice. This is one of my chase cards besides the Ryulu and the Slowpoke. The Super Mario movie comes out this week, and I really wanted to open up Pokemon cards at the movie theater. But in reality, this weekend's full of a lot of fun things, so we're going to open up some cards while we do all of that. So I've been really enjoying doing the vlog and Pokemon card style openings, and we started off at Applebee's for some heat right here. Oh, cool. Latias. Nice. Wait, I got a bunch Ooh, an Umbreon. Oh, the Luminion. And we also pulled a nice Dusknoir and a Volo Full Art Trainer. Then we moved into a Giratina V tin, which wasn't incredible, but we did get one hit. Yo, nice. Gonna go with this. And now we make our way over to the movie theater. So as you can see, we're getting ready to enjoy peak. So let's open one pack to start. Could be something good. Woo, nice, a nice full art. With that, we were off to my parents' house and you'll never guess what I got during the Easter egg hunt. What'd you get? 
Pokemon cards. <laughs> Ooh! Now this last half of this video, I really had a plan to open up cards with a bunch of my family, but I just really enjoyed my time spending with my brother, sister, my cousins, and then I had my brother open a pack and he got the really nice Magnezone Galarian Gallery that you see right here. And she actually pulled a really nice Oranguru V, which uh, took her a little bit to get to as she was dancing. And with that, we'll get into our last pack. Shout out to Deep Pocket Monsters. Do you like Miltank? Yeah, I like Miltank. I wasn't even planning on doing a vlog, but there was such a good response to the vlog that I posted today, it's uh, Wednesday, that I really wanted to start another one. So thank you so much. It really means a lot like when my passion gets recognized. So I actually took a four day weekend this weekend and Aaron and I are doing a bunch of really fun things. And right now we're at the Islander game. So we're gonna open some cards here. And no better way to celebrate a high stakes game like opening up some Pokemon cards. The first pack didn't have much, but this one we got a little bit of a fake out on, but we got an awesome pull. Oh, I completely oh. screwed up, that's so sick. Now this vlog was a lot of fun because I feel like I got to show you all a side of me that I haven't really gotten to show off, which was like basically daily life tests and relationships with like my family and my wife's family and Carl the Cactus, of course, while also showing off some awesome Pokemon cards. And with the sports out of the way, we got to our Pokemon card opening, which we did have a Darkrai VMAX box and got some heat. Oh, nice, Mimic you. Then Lost Origins stepped up and gave us a bit of heat. Nice, let's go. That's awesome. Hisuian Zororark V is a really nice card, but we got to move into some Astral Radiance now, and we got a bit of heat in this as well. Oh, nice! Oh, Dark Salt V. This dude still thinks he's him. After a quick check of the hair, we moved into our last couple of packs, and we got a little bit of heat here too. This Gardevoir is very playable in the TCG, so it's a valuable card right now. I also had a chance to show you all that I'm, uh, you know, kind of still participating in Pokemon card tournaments, and also pulling some awesome cards when I do win. I have cool plans for this in the future too. We jumped into the Pokemon Go tin, which gave us these two awesome promos. Erin did not get anything in her pack, but I did get this really nice Mewtwo V, which love the art on that. And we also got Ooh, Radiant Venusaur. Styles and Darkness Ablaze. Ooh, nice. That's an awesome Tapu Koko V Max. And then we actually got to move into our celebrations packs, which had some weird coincidences. We got the same card. Ah. Ooh, Cleffa. Oh, and a flying Pikachu V. Oh, and a flying Pikachu V. That's weird. <laughs> This was my biggest vlog opening to date, I think, and it ended off with some really cool cards. Ooh, nice, an Arcanine EX. Ooh, and a Spinox EX. That's actually a really good card in like the TCG. Uh, with the new <laughs> vlog style. Nice, a Katie. That's an awesome full art. A Dondozo full art, or an Illustrator Rare is what it's called. We've done a lot of really cool things this month, but today I just wanted to open up some Pokemon cards. So we're gonna take a look at a few products that I wanted to open. Starting with this, we got a Crown Zenith box for the More Pico V Union. So we have all the pieces of the More Pico V Union, um, an Energy Search, and a Leafeon V, which is a really nice card. Nothing peeking, so maybe I was right. A Pongoro and a Rayquaza V, which is a really nice card. Single game, and it was so sad. A Radiant Eternus, which is really nice, and an Executor. But this is such a nice card. I wanted to show off, I did win a giveaway from Umbreon decks. So shout out to Corey and Diego. Thank you so much for sending these cards. Uh, they are really awesome. We can jump into our next product, which is a Chilling Rain Elite Trainer Box, because I just haven't opened up Chilling Rain like a full set of it in a while. A Avery and a Volcanion V Full Art, which is a beautiful card. Jeez. Phenomenal. And a Lightheart V Full Art, so that's really cool. And then we have a Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Box. So we have the really nice Maridon Alt Art, a Great Tusky X, which I think I have like three of now, an Ultra Ball, which is really nice. A Sandile Illustrator Rare. That is an awesome card. The Shrine on that's really sick too. Look at that rainbow pattern. But thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate you and I'll catch you in the next video. You're all gonna love this binder that we put together. And I really hope you have. I wanted to do this video to challenge myself to do a type of video series that had bigger meaning to it. And I wouldn't be doing this type of video if it wasn't for all the people who watch. And there we have it, a really fun binder that totaled in $335.34. I really appreciate you being here and I will catch you in the next video.